So recall the candidate for a minimizer that we found in the previous video. Now I'm going to show that this candidate satisfies the sufficient second order conditions for a local minimum. To do that, we're going to need to use the Hessians of the function itself as well as the constraints, which I'm writing here. Of course, the Hessian of f consists entirely of zeros as f is a plane. And of course, we're using the Lagrange multipliers, mu1 and mu2, that we found for this candidate point. Those values are written up above, and I'm about to substitute them in. Keep in mind, of course, that the first Lagrange multiplier, mu1, must be zero because we need to satisfy the complementary slackness condition for g1. And mu2 is the second Lagrange multiplier, which we found to be equal to root 5 over 2 from before. Okay, and so now all this information that we have, putting all of this together, gives the following Lagrangian matrix, which I will now show is positive definite by using Sylvester's criterion for matrices by doing a cofactor expansion. So look at the first co-minor, which is the top left element, or in other words, the one by one matrix, the square root of five, which is of course positive. And then we have the second co-minor, which is in this case, just the matrix itself. And the determinant of that is five, also positive. And so we conclude that for this candidate for a minimum, along with its Lagrange multipliers, we have that our Lagrangian is positive definite using Sylvester's criterion. So we pass the second order sufficient condition for a minimum.